Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. We're going to get into Bitcoin price action. I guess we're going to take a look at a trade setup I've got running right now on MEXC. Um, you know, again, link in the description below for our Discord if you want to check out some of these trade setups and join in some of the fun. Highly recommend it. If you learn how to trade, it will benefit you in all areas of your Bitcoin life, personal life, and everything else. All right. Let's jump into it really quick. Starting it off, I, I want to go down the list and give you a, kind of a bare bones uh, first look on the market here. Haven't really looked at anything else out there. Fresh eyes on the chart here on the hourly for NASDAQ uh, does look, um, you know, like today's Thursday. We're coming into the weekly close. You remember stock market, the stock market that never goes down has a, a little bit higher of a target there. You know, indecision candles all around. If we take out the wick, um, you know, to the upside of the downside, I think there's your range right there. Pretty easy on the weekly time frame. Any kind of a break outside of this range, well, new all-time highs there and uh, probably heading down to the 9 exponential to fill that gap on the daily. So something to keep our eyes on, uh, you know, potential bearish divergence, you know, uh, looks like a bullish engulfing candle to me with declining volatility on NASDAQ. So, you know, this thing never stops going up. That's that's the end of the story there and will cross up today above 20,203. So, you know, crossing up in the critical zone is a bullish sign and points for the bulls there. And uh, yeah, although it hasn't been helping Bitcoin too much, following up on yesterday's uh, premise here that, uh, well, I mean, that definitely does look like a short term top on Bitcoin. So don't mind if I do. Um, wow. Wow. Let's see how that translates on the one minute time frame. Yep, we are losing that, that area right now. And essentially, what are we getting? Uh, maybe the full retrace all the way back down to 61,110. Um, looks like a bit of a, you know, head and shoulders there. Uh, sloppy one at that, but as long as we were below there even on a one minute time frame and you'd be surprised how uh ta applies even on a one minute time frame um and that is actually the pivot i was looking to get hit Sixty thousand eight sixteen. um notice the breakout after a major consolidation yesterday on the one minute time frame on the 15 minute time frame this is all bitcoin's action yesterday uh <clears throat> Uh, we had one move up the prior day. So today's Thursday. Wednesday was down. Tuesday was up. And it looks like continuation or not here, right? So we got the higher high on the 15 minute. We broke the purple 200. We're looking for a higher low in this region. You know, I'm looking at least the green 55, but look at that beautiful setup. You know, breakout, retest, and then onto the races. So Stop losses go, go below here, and I do believe that four-hour trade setup is probably going to hit, forming a bit of a W right here as we are coming into the green 55. I believe that that is the target for Bitcoin uh, short-term at 62.875, as long as we are yeah, above that last pivot there. <clears throat> Generally looking for that. Sideways and up action for Bitcoin and then the contention right uh, on the daily time frame volatility is increasing as we are kind of, you know, stair stepping it up here. Still a chance for a knock or a swing right in the middle of these wicks, you know, somewhere over here. But um, it looks like short term is uh, a bit of a bounce recovery. I do want to take a look at the economic calendar today. We've been talking about Dixie. We want Dixie to go down, and uh, it is looking more on the macro bullish side. So new home sales, uh, are they coming out right now at 8.30 Pacific time? I'm not sure, but I do have to get going to my next appointment, so I'm going to make this one short and sweet. Short term down, um, you know, on the hourly, we just crossed momentum down. Uh, we just crossed momentum down. So that being, um, you know, probably got everybody bullish on that last pump there. 
I know Solana had some good news. Checking in on Solana really quick. <clears throat> and Solana looks like it, it is going to get a bit of a pullback as well. I'd be targeting the middle of this vector candle. They had some news on. I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses, and I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. Some new Blink thing, in integrating Solana into all the websites out there. Uh, looks like short-term down on the hourly for Mr. Near. Um, wouldn't mind taking that one, that trade either. Um, Casper, double top, coming down to the green 55 here. Easy trades just all over the place. Picking them off here to the downside. Um, How's my AR doing? I think I'm gonna have to let that one go. FTM, <clears throat> trade set up there. You know, looks like uh, we already hit TP1, two, TP1, TP2. Are we gonna get TP3 for Mr. FTM? Just back at the top of the side of the range at 60 cents. I mean, this is where I tell people, you wanna buy in the red zone? On the hourly time frame. we are crossed down now, so this is a little bit worrisome. Um, what I'd probably do, and you know, these signals are not meant to be taken, and courtesy to meta signals on this, uh, like as one, right? They're meant to be taken, uh, you know, as a suggestion, and then you make adjustments from there. Sometimes I like to do something like that. You know, this choppy price action, as we're, we got a death cross on the hourly, you know, putting in a bit of a sell signal here. Short term looks down on FTM and then you know probably picks it up from there anyways uh that's it for me today guys i hope you have a blessed and happy favorite day i will see you in the next one bitcoin what else did i want to talk about i'm oh, sorry fear and greed index here you know uh <clears throat> at a 46 so people getting a little more fearful open interest is ticking up as prices going up that's positive funding rates are going to be And actually, I do want to follow up a little bit on my analysis from yesterday on the... So it is costing you more and more and more to, to uh, not point not 1%. More and more to go long, not 0 0.02. When is the last time we have seen a not point one percent funding rate? Uh, not a very long time, or it's been a very long time. You can see it did put in the uh, top there on the daily as funding rates got up to not point not six percent, so not even quite not one percent. You know, just something to keep in the back of our mind's eye here when it comes to funding rates, as it costs more to go long. Um, you know, eventually uh, things start to flip around. So, last up, I guess go through a couple more. So here is the Solana update. Um, you know, it looks like it's going to get pushed back on the first pass on the daily declining volatility, you know, at least on the first pass. I mean, it doesn't guarantee to go down forever, but Solana, amazing how these moving averages will hold things down generally. Um, so unless Bitcoin, you know, does take a major leg up here, you know, even on a four hour time frame, needs to close back above the middle of these wicks here. And uh, probably going to get a quick run back to 64,000. So if you're a little bit more of that swing trader, uh, four hour time frame back above 62, call it 62,000. And probably going to make our next leg up at 64. Okay, back below here, four hour back below <coughs> the 786. 
which is going to be right here. Da, 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 da. I don't know how helpful this is for people, but it is good for me to keep in my mind eye. Yeah, so four hour back below that 786 at 59.3 probably does get us uh, the next rip into this cluster over here at 56.8. That's the line in the sand. That's the area that needs to hold. Um, otherwise, short term up and major trend line coming in on the daily here. And guys, we got a lot of bullish catalysts coming. I mean, we just got to be patient with it. Get, you know, really make sure, hey, the reversal is in and watch out for the uh, daily lower high. You know, again, daily lower highs can come in anywhere in this area at 65,000. Be a major rejection, maybe spike it all the way up to here, you know, 69. But if we start closing back below that green 55 on the next lower high, that is going to be a major warning that we get another leg down. All right. Other than that, um, I think that's it, guys. Have yourself a blessed and highly favored day. I will see you in the next one. Take care.